I think the most important thing is not only myself, but everyone within the team and the riders leave ego outside the door. Oh! No, they all three go down, all three teammates. It is difficult when five guys are of similar speed uh, on a track that doesn't really differentiate skill. I just remind them that we need to get up tomorrow morning as well. By the end of our Australia trip, everybody watching these videos are going to be able to read Cole like a book also. Get out of my head, dude. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, today is Saturday. It's round one of the Australian Supercross Series, and we have round two tomorrow on Sunday. So um, we are here at the truck uh, trying to, we checked in trying to get our gear organized, get everything sorted out. We have track walk in about 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, a little over 30 minutes. And first time we get to go check things out and it's a, it's a pretty slow pace today so far, which is nice. Um, we've had a lot of work to do, just kind of getting getting here, getting sorted. And yeah, the weather's beautiful. It's uh, nice, it's probably 85 degrees right now. And yeah, the sun is shining and we get to go race some dirt bikes, so. I, I like being on the Honda. There's just, each time out, it's like a little bit more intensity, a little bit more intensity, and a little bit more comfort. And um, yeah, so definitely still some learning going, but I still have high expectations. And that's uh, that's where it's like, I, I've, I feel good. I'm just ready to race. That's uh, that's that's really where, where my focus is. And, and all day too, it's like, I know that there's there's going to be some things that we got to work through, and uh, even even for the heat race, it's like we're making this change. We'll see it, see how it goes. But um, my goal is the two mains tonight uh, for the overall. That's that's really what what matters, and that's when uh, whatever we got, that's what we're going to go with, and that's what we're going to race hard on. So. Good ride. Good. You got all that good. Oh, dude. <laughs> I was like, okay, I see you. I was like, like you, I you, you, you walk past the gate, you can't come back. Who told me that? Nobody else. Everybody else is walking all over the place. I'm like, no, eight laps, okay. Hey, can you get sliding to come back? And so then by that time, it's like, I got to go to the outside gate. Yeah, he started off, I uh, got a little bit screwed over with the gate pick, so we ended up on the extreme outside. So he did an awesome job to, to get out of turn one in the position that he did, and um, then he just fought through, and he looked like he had some real good speed, so it's good to lead into the mains now with that confidence for him to, to, up, to be able to get up front. And I think we're in a good position from the mains now.
gate two. It's like you need to be like gate five to five to the inside of the box, I think. Because the problem I think with we were, it's really from gate four onwards, you can actually go straight, whereas you have to try to move over and the rest are moving in. And unless you get in a full bike lane in front, you just get squashed. Because I thought that like the, the heat race, being so far out, like the guys, there was a couple guys inside, they they missed the corner, so I was able to tuck back behind them. And I, I thought, okay, if I if I can clear my space a little bit, I can just hug around the inside. And I kind of did, but the guy that was in front of me, went, once he spun out, that was where I got held up. Um, my one question for you is just uh, it's a big task to have more than one rider uh, multiple riders that have the ability and the desire to win how do you manage that as a team manager we've got a diverse range of personalities not only with the riders but the mechanics we obviously do our best to try and pair everyone up I think the most important thing is not only myself but everyone within the team and the riders leave ego outside the door. We come in here humbled by the opportunity and we need to be sensible in our approach. It is difficult when five guys are of similar speed uh, on a track that doesn't really differentiate skill. Um, everyone's doing the same thing and I just constantly remind them that uh, learn from one another and uh, if there's an opportunity to make a pass, make the pass. But don't do it where you would endanger yourself or another rider. And that doesn't mean a rider just on our team, that's everyone. So yeah, it's tough. Everyone wants to win, doesn't matter what brand of motorcycle you're on. And we're in a competition. And I can't forget that as a team owner, that we are in a competition. And uh, it's everyone's job to be on the top step of the podium. I just remind them, that we need to get up tomorrow morning as well. Honestly, there was quite a bit of traction uh, in our last practice. More today than yesterday, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but even with the mist, it was just mainly the goggles, but the track actually still had pretty good traction. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't think it's going to dry out any because we've got lots yeah. of overcast. Yeah, that's fine. It should hold the whole time, yeah. it should be good. Yeah. Maybe we'll get some. Maybe we'll get two ruts in some of the corners. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I saw. It. I was yeah. watching. I was watching from over here, and I saw yeah. him in the air, and I was like, you, you know when you can see, yeah. and they're like angling yeah. the air, and he was like, yeah. you guys were like this, and he was like this, yeah. and I was like, yeah. going for it. And then just, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't help. He, he was. Like, well, he said that I took him out in the first one, yeah. and like in the same corner, I'm. I didn't even feel his touch. Yeah. And, uh, but the, the, it was like early on, like yeah. second lap. There was a lot of guys in the corner. Yeah. And, um, Brody. Oh, no, I was. No, I, I was just a block pass. Yeah, right I, I was blocking him, but it's like I was. Were you not expecting him to 
him at all. Bro, I didn't think did you see what he was in there? I didn't see what he was in there. He was in the exit. He was about, he was about 0.5 of a second from hitting the f***ing man. Yeah, I was. Yeah, it's uh, that time I, I just really only focused on my start. That's uh, it's tough. I, I've got to be really on it because um, I'm, I'm quite a bit heavier than a lot of the other kids out there. And uh, I'm focusing on staying present, but it's like I have to I have to nail my start like solid. And that was a that was a really good start for me. And uh, some of those guys, the thing is, those those guys don't don't worry about making the corner. They're just racing to get to the corner first. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's chaos out there. Praise the Lord, we were okay for him last night. It was a, uh, it was a tough fight, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I showed up as ready as I could be. Um, we got a couple more days on the on the 2025 Honda, and uh, I'm just so thankful for this opportunity with your Eve and the the Polyfloor Froth Honda Racing Team. It's uh, it's been a blast over here in Australia. Uh, my mechanic Brody, he uh, he crushed it this weekend. We we met earlier this week, and uh, yeah, we we had a, a good weekend this weekend. Uh, last night was tough. We overcame some adversity today, and. Um, praise the Lord. There you go, Shan Macrath, happy and ready to go to round two. Nice. Solid. I, I was, I felt like I was as ready as I could be last night, and yeah, it, it just, yeah, it happens quick. <laughs> Dude. I'm telling you, man, those yeah. first few laps are yeah. like grenades going off. Yeah. Dude, you that's could the tell thing. you were just like, yeah. wait, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm not, but like I'm the not conditions, it's like nobody cared about the conditions. It's like, yeah, oh, I'm just going to turn here, and yeah. you break traction, they're like, oh, man, I broke traction. It's like, well, obviously, yeah, yeah so it's. It, it was wild last night. Yeah. I was like, tonight I was like, dude, I'm, and I, I think I was a little bit too far past the start last night to actually do a good start. It was like, I knew my speed was good and my starts weren't terrible, but it's like starting against those little guys. It's like, I got to really know my starts. And yeah. yeah, I mean, it's obviously, it comes down to that, right? You get good yeah. starts, it's like, yeah. kind of walking yeah. the park. But. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. wild. Good yeah, job. it was. Yeah.